<laughs> Hi, Steve. What up? What's up? Not much. So, What's up with you? Wait, you're going to come on my panel and say hi to Steve and not me? Yeah, what's with that? Well, uh, I mean, I mean, I just text you and say hi. But, oh, um, I don't question. look at my phone. I seen that you lied today about something. Oh, what's shit. that? So, so you said that the story about Morticia was was like fabricated or something? Yeah, yeah, that was that was not not the way I remember it going down whatsoever. I what, mean, there were portions story? of it threaded through. What story are, are are you referring to? I'm talking about the way she left Guest Mob and uh, was kicked from Guest Mob. Uh huh. Carlitos. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's so up? The way, the way, the way I remember it mob hey. was I was trying to get Larry to do the KKK channel. What? Fine. I feel like you all. <laughs> KKK channel? What the? What? I think he, um, I think you're rogue audience, Isaac. I'm confused. Oh, that's Isaac? Oh, okay. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't, so am I. Is anyone okay? I was like, am I alone? Somebody's got music in the background. So I, I oh, can't hear me. what Isaac's saying. So I'm here's the way I remember it going down. Let me turn uh, it down. Morticia was with Team Truth. Okay. Morticia came over and was with Guest Mob doing Shut the Fuck Up and Listen with us. Mm -hmm. And then everything was good and she was given the Christmas present there. And then mm -hmm. me and Morticia had that big blowout on Christmas Eve. And then we kind of moved past that. And she stayed on the panel for like two times, three times after that, maybe. I don't remember the exact number because it was years ago. Um, and then Miss D did her return. Morticia was on the panel with us. And I was watching the Miss D stream while I was on the panel. And Miss D was all pissed off. And I said to Morticia, hey... Miss D's pissed off. You better go over there and find out what's going on. And she went over there, and then that turned into a whole big thing. And then it was a thing where she redid her bedroom or something. The Miss D and she was kicked from Christmas because Morticia's biggest thing she's been saying is, "Well, if well, if you knew that I did that and I apologized for it and you still didn't like me, why would you give me the money for Christmas?" That's been her yeah. her number one. Thing yeah, that that is a very good question. That is a very yeah. good question. Yeah, it is. Yeah, if you if you knew she had done that and you had forgiven her for it, and gave her seven hundred dollars, why why is it an issue now in in hindsight? After well, see, that's the thing. She's I didn't gone. give her seven hundred dollars. My money went to Chelsea. But like I had told the mods at that point in time, once I found out and once she sent that long apology message to me admitting that she did it, I said I'm going to keep her around and I'm going to gather as much information on her as I could. And when she least expects it, I'm going to take her out. Yeah, and see, I don't remember it going down that way whatsoever. The way I remember I going it down was like, oh, I, it's forgiven. It's okay. And then some other shit went down. And then so she was kicked out. So then you went back to, oh, yeah, no, she called CPS on my kids. But you had forgiven her and made a Christmas donation to her for $700 after you forgave her. That's no, the way it went again, down. Again, again, the money didn't come from me. That came from right. I'm not, say, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying the money came out of your pocket. Okay. I'm saying it was a collective amount of money from guest mob from two people that you gave to Morticia. Two people. Don't 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 be wrong, but you make the final decision of, of who's getting those. Actually I don't because my choice wasn't either of them, to be honest. Um, I had said it was a random giveaway. But Larry spoke up for Chelsea and then uh, I think it was Starshine and Amanda and a few others spoke up for Morticia. And I literally said, well okay, it's your guys' money. I'll put in you know hundred dollars toward Chelsea but that's it. Nathan gave another, I think it was like a $500 Amazon gift card that he gave to Chelsea. And then they gave Morticia uh, cash, pretty much. It was like, what, straight to her paper, whatever it was. Yeah, it was like uh, $500 and then 200 additional dollars for, I can't remember, groceries or something. I, I don't even remember. Something along those lines. I, I don't remember. I just remember it was $700 in total. Well, yeah, but see, you should know more than anybody that sometimes you got to play nice to get what you want, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. And that's exactly what I did. But then when she fucked up, which is what I said that she would do, and I knew that she would fuck up, I handled it. She did fuck up. She got caught red-handed. Wait, You'll someone gave Morticia that. money? Starshine and Amanda did, yeah. Good God. So, where, where, where is the, the part of the story that, that you said was fabricated? The, the part where 
you the, the way you outlined the story on the panel was not the same version that we just talked about now. It was the exact same version we just talked about now. Yes, it was. Mm, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, pull a clip if you need to. I'm not pulling exactly a clip and we watching that boring-ass shit again. Oh, you mean the asylum? Not to mention the other lies you told. Like you said, I was madly in love with Lady VSC. Where'd that come from? Isn't that the way you guys ran it on the internet for six months? Nope. Actually, it, it was very public that it was one-sided. Matter of fact, she publicly was complaining to people that it was one-sided. Matter of fact, she would complain to Bree on the phone all the time that it was one-sided. Okay. Bree was the one telling her, no, nah, girl, trust me, I think he's into you. And she kept telling Bree, no, he's not. He's not into me at all. He don't even talk to me. He don't flirt with me like that. Like, it's one-sided. Everybody knew that, but it's weird that once you're gone from the community, all of a sudden things start getting twisted and yeah, that, ain't, that ain't what your tweets everything. were saying, and that ain't what you were saying on panel with her when she was the queen of yes mob. I realize in hindsight that it's, it's embarrassing. Name, name me one time I ever called her the queen of yes mob. Well, she called herself the the queen of yes mob. You're right. And you were like and all for she it. She asked me, and she said, "Do you think Whitney will get mad if I'm calling myself the queen of yes mob? Because I because I think Whitney's the queen of yes mob." And I said, "Whitney's not going to give a fuck what you call yourself." Not to mention all the times that we talked about it privately in chat. So you you know more than anybody, just like the minds have known that I definitely did not view her that way. Yeah, okay. But yet you were still spending like eight hours a day on the phone with her. Yeah, because I gathered as much information as I probably fucking could. I gathered information on what was going on with Tina. I gathered information. I found out other shit that happened that I didn't know about. I gathered the information on what Star China and Amanda were saying. You know, the two people who, whose dicks are sucking now, but supposedly you were ready to do a stream yeah, on yeah, them. Yeah, on. I'm, I'm sucking. I'm sucking their dick. Yeah, okay. Well, well, well I mean, weren't you talking about how, you know, the stream's coming soon? The stream's coming soon. And now all of a sudden, it's all peachy. Wait, hang on. Can I? Can I? Yeah, um, yeah because maybe I had wait, a conversation wait, wait, wait. with somebody and received a him? whole bunch of additional exactly. information and saw the other side of the screenshot and, and saw I got the whole story, maybe. Oh, Did you ever think of that? <laughs> right, right. The other side of the screenshot. So yeah. their screenshot literally said exactly what it said about you. And then you were ready to do a stream on him. You're gonna, you know, do this. Oh, I can't wait. Fuck the bitch. Barbie. Larry. Yeah, that's right. That's Hold right. On. Because you Barbie. were behind the behind the scenes saying, "Oh, there's a whole bunch of more screenshots," and that's just the tip of the iceberg of all this shit they were talking about you behind your back. But three months later, I still didn't even see one more fucking screenshot. So I reached out and said, "Hey, I got this screenshot," and then I saw the other side of the screenshot from somebody else in that chat. Actually, I showed you about. Was it about five or six different screenshots from from that side? Mm -hmm. yeah, you, can, you can you can go back and, and look at the messages. There was only one screenshot regarding me. No, 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 no. There was a couple. Oh, go back, go back, go back into your Facebook I mean, messenger and scroll were, up. Uh, what was it? You were a witness, you, a, a snitch. Yeah, right. you ran with that story too. What happened with that? What happened with that? Well, you, you, mean, said, you said that Lisa, Whitney had, had already got, Lisa, Lisa already got the, the paperwork for that? my big federal indictment. What, what happened to that? Those I don't remember saw that. Because I have never, ever said I was federally indicted. I have never in my life said I was federally indicted for any fucking thing. Here's the, the thing. fuck they are. The fuck, fuck they are. Lie. You know what? Your little lie. fucking twisting and manipulation I, bullshit has so never when fucking really worked on me, and it's sure the fuck shit. ain't gonna work That's on me today. Is. And if you what think you're gonna over fucking talk me, you're out of your motherfucking mind, because you ain't gonna fucking over talk me. Every single fucking time. When you get caught in a lie, you say, oh, I'm just trolling. No, motherfucker, you got caught in a fucking lie. Where am I caught in a fucking lie? Where am I caught in a fucking lie? Look, I gave you the motherfucking investigator's name, Jim Skaya. I gave you the Fucking I, date. I, a fucking I went to the grand jury February 14th, 1999. You're the big fucking See, king of best mob. That's Do your motherfucking research, man. It ain't my fault you can't find no motherfucking information. Why don't you sit the fuck down, you fucking dork? You can't fucking find shit. I'm a 56 year old man whose child is grown and I have fucking grandchildren. You're a fucking 30 something year old man in the prime of your motherfucking life doing the same fucking thing I'm doing in my retirement years. 
You were trying talk. to perv over fucking Vegas Barbie. You told the mod no, chat that you and her had a whole over conversation. Vegas Barbie. It was a whole fucking thing. Dick, you fucking she was dork. feeling you. She said she got a divorce, and then you got mad and came to the club like said I just she found was out fucking she fucking divorced. Me. I have you never even talked to Vegas it. Barbie in private. Everything we've ever said to each other has been in fucking private. It's not been in fucking private. I've been on a panel with Vegas Barbie two times in my motherfucking life, and I have talked to her in fucking YouTube fucking chats. You're fucking trying to twist the motherfucking. You narrative you like fucking you do chat. every hey, motherfucking hey, time because you I'm ain't fucking do all, shit. Go eat a fucking cupcake, a bitch boy. What did you do? I'm call 911? How are come when they knocked on your motherfucking door you were silent for a motherfucking half hour and never came back to the motherfucking panel, bitch boy? What were you doing? Calling 911 like you did on BBY and said, oh, I got a face my back. You were talking about that shit right there. I said my family up in the neighborhood and I'm scared shitless. Suck my fucking dick, you bitch boy. You ain't got fucking shit. You, you are the fucking fucking, fucking hot air. All you're you do fucking is make nobody. Up and you know the best part about it is the only reason why you're a somebody is because you're associated like you're with some me, bitch. That's the only fucking, fucking reason anybody gives a damn about you. The fact is that about you me. ain't fucking shit. You said that the trolls you hate you because of me. Nobody. The trolls hate you before you talk to him on YouTube. They were calling you all types of fucking strangler pedophile before I said yes to him on fucking platform. And you can call me strangler all motherfucking day long. But my charges were dismissed. But Nicole still has a scar on her back from your bitch ass pushing her through the fucking window, you fucking punk. Or you woman you abusing you're a bitch. fucking king internet troll. You're a fucking idiot. 56 fucking years old, and you brag about being a fucking online troll. That's the and best thing you got going in your fucking life. Fucking you know, you would on your own, as and a you're grandfather, doing the same thing as me, bitch boy. The best thing you focus on is your fucking grandchild. You're a fucking but no, bitch it's the boy. fucking Grow internet. Up, you and that's all you fucking have in your life. Grow you're, the, fuck the internet, up. your fake ass fucking girlfriends. What? what how about Lisa? That's right. I'm in my own time with Lisa. You're in the prime of your motherfucking life. Doing the same motherfucking thing. The only difference is. Because you're on the internet Lala from the time you fucking wake up was to the time you go to sleep Ain't with your smoking truth. mirrors but trying to protect this fake ass too. fucking you image. You, you got on the fucking internet because you, you think you're the king of death mob. Death mob is shit. You ain't fucking shit. Death mob is the fucking retardation nation. And you're the head motherfucking retard, bitch boy. Suck my motherfucking dick. Maybe you ain't lost her in the fucking first place. Did you ever think of that? my dick. Oh, there it is. There it is. Steve Billings coined phrase of suck my dick because that's what he that's says. That's right. Everybody suck my saying. dick. It's Who Saturday, that bitch boy. Coming. Everybody's seen that one coming. That's the main thing. Everyone knows it's coming because it's my tagline. Ain't it, bitch boy. You know what I've else I got for you? Oh, Check me, Michael bitch. Hasn't even Go eat a like fucking cupcake, years. motherfucker. It's sitting on your fucking volume. front steps because you're afraid to answer the motherfucking door. You was busy calling 911 like you did on fucking 450 BBY, you fucking punk ass bitch. You tell everybody pull up or shut up, but when they pull up, you dial 911 because you're a pussy ass bitch boy. Matter of fact, maybe I should start calling you that cancer cup, because that's exactly what the fuck you call were. Call me cancer time, cup. I don't give a fuck what you call me, yeah. bitch boy. You were the cancer I'll cup. I'll call you not Mr. 911 caller. Time, I'll while you were call you there, Mr. I'm hiding behind my girlfriend, 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 manipulating her, threatening her, scaring the shit out of her. I had to be the one to go to bat for her and make sure she was taking care of it away from your bitch ass, because you were a complete fucking psycho idiot. How about that? The entire fucking time. You want to talk about how you still fight still get Angry over the hot dog. Nine one one. The hot dog you're still a hurts bitch me. And you know do the, it. Do the hot dog you're still just hurts a bitch. Me? How about this? You have a, a hot dog on me and Lala. How about that? Go ahead. I will pack up this. I'll pay for your fucking hot dog up your fucking hot dog you just bitch. so we can hurt you all over again. How about that? Hurt me. How about that? You already said it hurt you, didn't you? But you know what? When you think about it, you hurt yourself. Because if you weren't such a fucking psycho, maybe you would have kept her. Did you ever think of that? If you weren't calling her 50 fucking times in an hour, maybe you would have kept her. If you weren't sending her threatening psycho texts, maybe you would have kept her. If you weren't calling her screaming your fucking head off at her, maybe you would have kept her. Did you ever think of that? Did you think for one second that a strong woman like Lala would have been a fucking bitch boy would be running a fucking community full of fucking retards? You just told me for the fact of one day seeing her in person so you can just strangle her like the rest of them. How about that? Is that what the fuck you wanted How to do? That? You wanted to How about that? Why you go through, why you go through a woman through a fucking you? window and scar her for life, bitch? Is that what you wanted to do? You woman abusing did fucking you, Did you punk? not tell me the fucking story? Oh, show me the proof, because one of us got charges found guilty, and that's damn sure not me. Uh, you know what? Fact, show show you where I've ever been fucking found guilty of putting my hands on a woman. And Nicole got a scar on her fucking back from you putting your hands on her, though. How bitch boy? You woman abusing piece of fucking shit. How about you tell the story about the phone cord around her neck? How about 
about that? Tell it. Let's go. How about tell you the tell story. the fucking story? How, How about, about you tell, tell the story? story about How the about you tell the story and snack? then explain to me if How that really fucking, fucking happened? The story, Steve, why the fucking don't fucking judge it in the tell state the of Minnesota with these charges dismissed? You wrapped the phone cord around her fucking neck so tight to the point that it fucking snapped, and she called the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snap a phone cord. You got arrested for that shit. Right now, Did you boy. not? Grab a phone cord right How now and snap you it with your fucking hands, you dumb fuck. But because you think you, you are a such a fucking, deal, fucking you retard. You, do it? you no. are the biggest fuck. You know what you are? You, you are, are king of the internet. Trial, you're the king of the motherfucking retardation nation, bitch boy. Me. 100%. And the fact is, is you did forgive Morticia See, for what she fucking did. I got proof did. of the claims that I fucking made. And the fact made. is, is you're such a fucking, your fucking, fucking retard Show that me you one were seven hundred fucking dollars of any fucking you were claims you've made. How about that? Said, oh, show me one shred of proof of anything you fucking said. When are you gonna say it? I'm still waiting, Steve. I'm waiting. fucking Where's the fucking proof? You don't have any proof of anything. You're all fucking You don't have any proof of anything either. Seven thousand five hundred screenshots of claims you have, and all you can make is low budget memes. Like Nothing they were being created a Microsoft paint. That's the best shit you can fucking come up with. Guy the best thing you come up with is some internet. bullshit Mr. ass Clean fucking meme. You are what a fucking you six year old man you making even clean Twitter memes to talk house, shit. Man. How does it that fucking like a goddamn big 56 guy. years what old kind of and the best thing you fucking got is making fucking Twitter memes. That's the highlight of your fucking day. I can picture you with your small ass fucking baby hands. Baby hands fucking Steve with his hands around the fucking throat. Making these stupid ass fucking Twitter memes. Dark, thinking that they're actually fucking up, legit, and thinking like he's one of the fucking cool kids. Up. 56 years old, you think you're fucking 20. And you behind the door. <laughs> you are such Who's a fucking the piece of shit. The and you know what's the best part about it? The best part cut. about it is you Suck said that I stole your girlfriend on your deathbed. Dick, but Jack, guess what? If that's the Guess case, what? you're you a came fucking back bitch. Fucking my dick and right now, motherfucker, ass, you're my so bitch. Could have been that fucking Guess bad. What? Right now, you're my if I, bitch. If I stole no, your girl on your fucking deathbed, it could have been that bad because you fucking came and back. And Did you not? Fucking Barbie, Matter of fact, if I was like a horrible person, why'd you come back, Take Steve? How about you answer that question? Mouth, mother if I was such a horrible person, Steve, why did you come back? My dick is so far down, you motherfucking throat. I'm tickling your tonsils, bitch boy. Why would you come back if I'm such a horrible fucking person? Why Answer that so question. I can get more screenshots Answer to bury that's your motherfucking ass. You suck my dick, bro. That's why, motherfucker. I got Literally, five fucking years every single worth of screenshots on your bitch ass, my motherfucker. Dick. Every single time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't got a fucking you know dick, man. Because you're, you're wife, desperate for your fucking wife who internet said you attention. You photoshopped you live for the $5,000 donation. You need this shit. I got a question for you, motherfucker. Shut your motherfucking mouth you fucking and listen to my motherfucking question, bitch boy. That's all you Explain fucking live on. Explain to me why you never internet. fucking turn fucking your goddamn stop. camera on. You have no receipt for anything you ever fucking say. Show me the proof, Steve. Where's the $7,500 screenshot, Steve? Where are all these screenshots? Where are all these screenshots? You claim you have, Steve. You ain't nothing you but said a you got scumbag the scumbag Where they at, though? Book where are they at? Bitch, boy. We're waiting for it, Steve. Marker, where's, where's, job. All of, where's all of these screenshots? Fucking kid, you We're waiting. Ass, bitch. We're waiting. How where's many all times did you get even you fucking have? From a you have, you have absolutely fucking nothing. Because you went six you know you fucking months. A busted ass fucking laptop, a broke ass fucking tablet, and a half ass fucking Android phone. That's the best thing to have the best you fucking got. And that's your fucking life. That's your entire fucking life. How about you tell people how you used to brag about how you're trolling all the communities? How about that? How about you start speaking about how you trolled all the communities? And you thought you were king troll. You control every single person. Nobody controls these villains. Bill, Nobody can do it. But you get trolled by fucking Lisa. Fucking Lisa trolled your bitch ass. Rich life trolled your bitch ass. Mr. Fucking T trolled bitch your boy. bitch ass. Everybody trolled your bitch ass. You're the weakest fucking, fucking troll in this fucking platform when you fucking think about you. it. You. And I nobody really fucking likes you. Hell, you thought Michael was a good friend of yours. Michael didn't even fucking like you. Nobody fucking likes you. Your family don't like you. Your daughter don't like you. Nobody likes you. Ah, where'd he go? No, 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 no. He, he can't just leave. No, no, no. No, not, not King Troll Steve Billings. He didn't just, just run away, did he? King Troll Steve Billings. I hope you didn't just run. King Troll wouldn't do that. It no, wait. I, I did not kick Steve. I did not kick him. It is what it is. It is what it is. But you well, know what, that's Steve? what the chat is saying. I didn't kick Steve. I don't oh, no, kick no, no, Steve definitely left because that's what he fucking does. That's what he does. But here's the thing. He he claimed he has 7,500 screenshots. Well, let's see him, Steve. You claim that you got all the chats. Well, let's see him, Steve. You claim you got the receipts. 
Well, let's see him, Steve, because all I've seen is a bunch of fucking half-ass fucking Twitter memes made by a decrepit old skeleton crypt keeping looking ass old man that looked like they were made on Microsoft fucking paint. That's the only thing I've fucking seen. Steve with his small ass fucking kitty hands making ass, these, ass, these ass fucking memes. Like, them memes are fucking cheeks. Like, seriously. It, I, like, a teenager who just took a computer class could make a way better fucking meme than that shit. And, by the way, Steve, please start spelling the word receipts correctly. Holy shit. I before E except after C, motherfucker. At <laughs> least, if you're going to fucking post about receipts, start spelling this shit correctly. 100%. You, you still gotta, you gotta your motherfucking mouth, bitch boy. You gotta I told start you to shut the fuck up and suck oh, my you motherfucking dick. I gotta let are you back, bitch boy? Steve, you know what? You I got 7,277 fucking hey, screenshots. But you know what? Your Where's fucking broke ass 911 calling bitch boy retardation nation ass ain't fucking to one motherfucking receipt on me. Talk about my daughter. I don't give a fuck. Talk about my daughter. You wanna go there? Talk about my daughter. That's what you got to go, you fucking that. You're not even piece really of shit. In her life. Yeah, just hold the motherfucking out, about retard. That. You only see You're your grandchild fucking, out of fucking you know pity. Because they thought me, you were fucking bitch. dying. The only reason you that they even allow you to see your grandchild is because you lied to them saying that you're oh, fucking dying. Oh, are you dying. fucking kidding me? You oh, are yeah, such a 100%. motherfucking retard. How about All Melody, Steve? Should we bring up Melody? And I get Do we need to bring up Melody, Steve? you retarded motherfucking Do you want to bring up Melody? Come on, Steve. Believe your motherfucking bullshit. But Do you, you know, know who Melody is, but Steve? You know talk about what, Michelle. Should we talk about Michelle? I got a relationship with my mom. We can talk about Melody. Don't. We can talk about Michelle. I got Michelle. a relationship we with my mom. We can talk about your daughter, you Lacey. Don't. You know I got a relationship with my it? whole The worst part about it is you don't even really like your fucking you grandchild because your grandchild is half black. No you don't even really like your fucking grandchild. That's the worst part about it. You don't even look like your fucking grandchild. You feel you're obligated to look like a good ass fucking grandpa. You don't even like your own fucking grandchild. And you barely fucking see him because they only want to walk around. Who spends money out of your motherfucking now, community? Now, how about what you did to fucking, fucking Melody, Steve? How about that? Do you want to go down that road? Let's bring it up real quick. How about you did to Michelle? You suck money off him. How, 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 how did it feel when you wrapped your fucking hands around Michelle's fucking neck? How did that feel when you had that phone cord tied so fucking tight, pulling at that shit? How did that fucking feel? I mean, how how much of a psycho do you got to be to put a phone cord around someone's neck and pull so? Fucking fucking that it's fucking snapped. window, you piece How of fucking shit. How much of a fucking psycho you, you can make up whatever fucking lies fucking you neck. fucking want. Hey, the people are fucking don't lie. Your, your eyes are motherfucking dead from it wasn't not the king of the motherfucking internet. So you the most respected piece of fucking, fucking shit. shit. I'm a whole world wide web. Don't nobody give a fuck about your bitch ass. Not did your you fucking not mom, deal? not you your said fucking you didn't wife. Want to go to trial nobody you gives a fucking fuck toast. about you. you to nobody kill. cares your if you fucking don't wake and up in your the daughter fucking morning. Barely has anything nobody to fucking would miss your fucking And the only reason you ever see your fucking grandchild is because they feel obligated to put my hands on a motherfucking woman. So, how about you? When are you going to show proof of anything you fucking said? Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from your motherfucking community. They paid your motherfucking bills for five fucking years. Every single thing you fucking said, Steve. Because everybody's kids, waiting on this Christmas fucking train. Fucking everybody's like waiting on all your fucking, fucking receipts. Yes, and we haven't heard you a fucking thing from you. All we've heard is the same way, bullshit. We're you know what's funny? Where the minute you leave Death Mod, you, you start repeating all the shit the trolls have fucking said. But when you're in Death Mod, you are sucking my dick. And you are swallowing my cup deep down your fucking throat. And you're gargling on that shit like Listerine. And you fucking know it. The entire time you're in Death Mod, fuck the trolls. They're lying up our eyes. I was a great person. I was a great human being. I was a great human being. You're a 50 like six year old troll. There's not a guy like Isaac. To you and I'll admit you're going from the spot. You're like Isaac. You're a piece of shit. You're trolling the fuck out of your <laughs> punk ass. Bitch you boy. just can't take the fact. That I'm just better than you. Hell, didn't you tell us the law life text message? Me? You said Are the law life text message. Me? I get Your it. Life I would never be Isaac when I was what, 18 Did you not say that? Years old. Did you not you say that to Lala? You never, Come ever on, Steve. in your life Did you not be the motherfucking man that I am. I could never be Isaac Guest. Did you not say that, Steve? Come on, Steve. Don't make Lala pull up the fucking receipts. Did you not say that? You don't even want to be fucking Isaac You've always fucking been jealous. And you know what? I don't blame you. Because every chick you've ever fucking liked, deep down, actually like fucking me. I can't fucking help it. I can't help that I'm fucking entertaining. I can't help that I'm fucking dying. I can't help that shit. It's not my fucking fault, Steve. I can't help that fucking charisma. But it's the truth. I mean, let's think about it. You sat there. You talked about Lala. And then me and Lala wound up talking. And, what I and then you talked about Lisa. Is, you found out that Lisa tried to find nice me. Bitch and then, boy, then you had that weird personal tool. That was fucking weird. 
Because you got to go down. Money they were fucking the boys. Me and Barbie boy. were talking. Now suck my Every fucking dick sideways and actually winds up talking to me. I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't fucking love that shit. But the best part about it is how you got fucking love. That was the best part about it. Without this fucking love. That was the best part about it. While you were still obsessed with Lala the entire time. So you guys can hear exactly what I'm going to tell you about this fucking piece of fucking shit. I hope that we can fix this someday. I hope that I get through this. The truth is coming and there ain't no coming back from it, bitch boy. She was talking to me. Bitch. Trying to fucking Have stalk a nice her night, on Bobby. the internet. Every stream Lala would go to, you would fucking go there. I'm gonna keep talking. Every single time Lala would go to a chat, you were fucking there. You were obsessed with her. You literally would scream at her like a fucking psycho. And she would sit there in a hangout call. And me and Starshine and Amanda and Mustang and Jennifer B and Baby Capone all sat there in a hangout call listening to you call her 50 fucking times in an hour because you were fucking obsessed.